Today, we're going to talk about transformations. Translations, reflections, rotations, and dilations, both expansions and contractions. Okay, for this question number one, uh, they are asking to dilate a T-shaped polygon as shown in this grid and then draw the dilation of it after being multiplied by four. In other words, a dilation of a factor of four. Um, so this is obviously gonna get bigger because you're multiplying it. I'm not gonna redraw this whole thing. I just wanna go over how to get the coordinate point. What is the coordinate of the point negative one, two after the dilation? So let's just do that. So here's negative one, two right here. This is the coordinate that you start with. And what's the dilation gonna do to it? It's gonna multiply by four. So simply take four times negative one, you get negative four. And then the y coordinate is gonna be four times two, which is eight. And this is your answer. That's the coordinate now that's been transformed. And as you can see, it's gonna get bigger. Uh, and it's up to you to do all the other coordinates and then see what kind of shape you get, a bigger T. In this question, it's number four on the packet. We got a student who has taken a shape, uh, a larger shape, and then contracted it or dilated it so that it got smaller. Uh, this is a contraction. And how much did she contract it by? How much did it dilate? That's called the scale factor. So what you do is you take the new over the old or the original. That's the key formula. Well, we don't have side lengths, but we do have coordinates. The new is one. If we look at the x-coordinate, it's one. So let's just look at the x-coordinates and compare them. We have to have something to compare. You take the one there and the x-coordinate up here is two. We know that this is therefore a scale factor of one to two. It's getting smaller. One to two or one half is the factor you multiply by each coordinate. If we do that for the y-coordinate, of course, one half of four is two and it works. There it is. This is a dilation getting smaller or a contraction with a scale factor of one to two. That's all for now. Those two problems should help you. Remember, rotations are turns, slides are translations, flips are reflections, and dilations either expand or contract. Reporting out from the top of the world here at Larchmont Charter School.